Well, today the number five Lady Cubs looking to do something that hasn't been done in over 30 years. Bring home a state title. Brownfield taking on number two Fairfield Lady Eagles in the 3A state championship game. First quarter, Lady Cubs down one. Gabby Fields with the rebound runs to the three-point line and hits it. Brownfield would lead by three at the half, but Fairfield would really take control of this one in the third. Brianna Dow down low with the finish. Two of her game high 28. Lady Eagles up three. Fourth quarter. Fairfield hitting everything with less than four minutes to go. Brownfield is down eight, but no quit in this team. Lady Cubs go on an 8-2 run, capped by that three from Dabria Blackwell to tie it up at 60, sending us to overtime. Now an OT, same score. Gabby Fields takes over after not scoring in the second half. She hits a tough layup to put Brownfield up two. Fields named MVP for her 22 points, six steals and six rebounds. Brownfield would never trail in overtime, winning their second state championship in program history, beating Fairfield 68 to 64. And of course, our boots on the ground for KLVK. No one other than sports director Ryan King making the trip down to San Antonio to see this one live. He joins us now from the Alamo Dome. Ryan, I know you've had a busy day today, but I have to know this is your first time in San Antonio. Are you going to go get the famous two pound cinnamon roll? It's a very important question. Hey, uh, you know, I'm not a high maintenance person. That's not really as much my thing. I'm I'm just kind of taking it all of San Antonio. Like you said, this is our priority here, but this is a place I've never been. But you know somewhere Brownfield's been? That's to the state championship. This is their second appearance all time, like you were mentioning earlier. Now, in this one, it really was everything you want in a state championship. It was back and forth early on. Brownfield had the lead. After that, Fairfield took the lead. It was a three-point game at the half. Then Fairfield, it looks like it was going to put this one away throughout the third and the fourth. Brownfield down 58 to 50. But from that point on, Brownfield did what state champions have to do. They stood up. They did everything you wanted. They went on a 10 to 2 run to force overtime. And then in overtime, outscored the Lady Eagles 8 to 4. A grand total of an 18 to 6 run to clinch this state championship. Now, there were three Lady Cubs in double figures led by Gabby Fields, the MVP with 22 points, but it really was the defense that got this Lady Cubs title. 13 steals, three block shots, 25 rebounds, only four less than the Lady Eagles, who we knew had the height and length advantage in this one. The offense was doing their thing, hitting their shots when they were open, but it really was the defense. If you're not stopping anybody, you're not going to win. And to hold the defending 4A state champions to just six points in the last four minutes of regulation and the four minutes of overtime combined, that's why Brownfield are state champions. How about old Brownfield Lady Cubs? I mean, you know, we've had we've had a lot of tough games all year long, uh, especially here in the playoffs. And, you know, we were battle tested there at the end. And, and just, uh, you know, I just I never felt we were out of it, even though going into that fourth quarter, I think we were down by eight or so. But we know we know we have that comeback in us. And, you know, I think once we got into overtime, I really felt good about it. Just I thought our composure would really come through. And I think it did. Even going to our ponder game, we read some of the words of encouragement from them. And you just really see how supported you are by not only your community but those who have done it and that I think that was really big for us as like a team like we have everyone behind us and that was great getting to go chat with them after the game it was really really special and you know one of the most exciting things about this Brownfield team no seniors everyone will be back next year trying to defend this 3A state championship. And Leah, you mentioned the gigantic cinnamon roll. It reminds me of food. The 1988 team with Cheryl Swoops was here to celebrate with the 2021 state champions. Maybe they're going to dinner tonight. Maybe they're splitting that cinnamon roll. Who knows? Maybe I'll go get one. But uh, it's, been a, it's been a fun game to cover. Congrats to Brownfield and everyone for getting that second state championship in program history. Leah.